Um, so I'm just going to talk a bit about counting kangaroos with drones. Um, so every autumn, uh, the 14 NCR spends most of our time counting kangaroos across about 20 or 30 different sites in the ACT. It's very time consuming and very expensive and we'd love a much easier and cheaper way of doing it. Everyone keeps asking us, why don't you use drones? Why don't you use drones? So last year, um, with some help from Parks, we started filling around with a Parks drone um, with the Mulligans crew. Um, and we established some really important foundations, like you can't see kangaroos with a normal camera from the sky, they're, just, they're invisible, um, more or less. Um, so we immediately went to FLIR, which is forward-looking infrared, um, and we were able to see that we could see kangaroos and differentiate them from the environment best if we did it first thing in the morning. So that's when um, the environment's cold and the kangaroos warm and they stick out really well, so that was really good. Um, and then the next sort of successful collaboration was that some friends of ours at New South Wales um, Department of Primary Industries just happened to have secured some funding to look at the same sort of thing. So they're using drones for um, counting wildlife in their case, they were mostly interested in rabbits and deer. Um, but we let them know that we had these sites where we knew how many kangaroos there were and they were perfectly set up to test this technology. So they very kindly paid for heli surveys to come and bring their super duper fancy drone um, to the ACT. And we did a side by side comparison with our parks drone and the super fancy drone that's probably worth more than my house. Um, and we tried a few different methods. Um, we tried counting late at night, we tried counting early in the morning and we tried doing two different um, statistical approaches. So one of them is just like a strip count and then we used distance surveys. So we tried a few different things. Um, basically, so we did this at Mullingari. It's a very, very easy site to count. The best of times we just go out and drive around and do a head count and you can stay on the hill and make sure no one moves and it takes half a day. So in terms of like revolutionising counting, this is not a difficult site. Um, but you can see up at the top here, the pinky sort of coloured stuff's grassland and the purple stuff's open woodland. So there's not much vegetation. So it's, yeah, it's, if, it, if it didn't work here, it was not going to work anywhere basically. Um, so then Kat um, got some serious drone skills. She went and did a pilot um, course and worked out how to use the software associated with to come up with some transects for both drones to fly. Um, There's about 11 k's of transects, which is only a quarter of what we do with our normal um, kangaroo surveys. We normally do about 44 k's of surveying when we're walking. Um, and basically this graph here at the bottom, the purple stuff is the um, different counts that we did with um, two different drone sorts, and then this is our sort of total count that we do, which we consider the right number of kangaroos. Um, so it is only a pilot study, but in summary, it seems to be working okay, and we'll um, try and secure some more money to look into this more, hopefully this year. <laughs>